uh, rough in scenario, 45 degree offset. Check it out, that's what I got. So my riser coming out of the ground was just a little bit too close to the face of the wall, right? Works out for my trap arm, that's fine. But look at what we got up here. Uh, we had to move our hole to uh, this side of the face of stud because um, their ceiling blocking was in the way. So um, we have an offset to do here. So we're gonna need to offset over, offset that over, and ride this stud straight on up to that hole. Okay. So some guys will go like this. There's like actually three ways you could do this. I'll show you all three and we'll, we'll compare we'll compare them real quick, okay? So some guys will go like this and just eyeball it. That looks pretty good to me. Right, 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 right there. We got end. I'd probably go six and a half inches. Okay. So we got six and a half with the eyeball method. And then this, this, this next method I'll show you is probably what I would actually do. <laughs> well, it actually just kind of depends how you, how, you, how you feel. So the other method would be, usually you have scrap all over the place, right? It would just be. <clears throat> Throw that up there. You throw that up there. Okay. This piece, you're not actually using this piece. You're not actually using that piece. I know I need to go just a little bit more. So we're at six. I'd probably go a little bit more and probably go six and a half because I know this, I know that has to come back up. I'll, I'll hold it. I'll hold it, there we go. So again, we're at six and a half, you see that? Again, we're at six and a half. Now I just used a piece of pipe just kind of as a guide so I made sure I was holding this correctly. So again, I got to six and a half. Again, I got to six and a half with the pipe guide method. Throw a little piece of pipe in there as a guide. Guide you in the right direction to get it. Okay. Now, now we're gonna do math, okay? Straight math. All right, so we know we're riding the stud. We know the OD of this pipe is two and a half. So the center line of our pipe, come on over here. The center line of our pipe is going up here. is going to be one and a quarter off this stud. Probably one and three eighths because of the, the actual hub of the fitting. Right. See my tape? See how the center line of the pipe is one and three eighths? Okay, one and three eighths. Okay, so math. Let's go eight minus one and three eighths for our center, on, center line to center line. So eight minus one and three eighths is seven, six and five eighths. Okay, so we know we're six and five eighths center to center. Okay. So then that's, you know, on a triangle. Okay, that was our pipe and that was our pipe. There's our 45 degree offset. We're six and five eighths on the equal on the offset. So we gotta go 1.414. So six and five eighths. Six and five eighths times 1.414, right? And then you take off your, then you subtract your takeoffs. So what is six and five eighths times 1.414? So you're going to have to take your calculator, and this is what I would do, but I'm recording this with my phone. 
but we're gonna have to go um, what five eighths five eighths is uh, what point six seven so six point six seven times one point four one four I'm actually gonna have to stop the video to do that and then we'll come back wait did this there it is for the clear button okay six two not six seven okay so six and five eighths is the same same thing as saying six point six two right so six point six two times one point four one four so our offset our offset right here is nine point three six and we're already talking in eights so 0.36 so to convert that back into inches 0.36 times 8 is 2.88 so we'll call it 9 and 3 eighths okay 9 and 3 eighths 9 and 3 eighths now I'm not using a construction calculator I would, I would encourage you guys to use a to download a construction calculator then you wouldn't have to change your decimals uh, back into fractions but I got 0.36 of an inch so I times it by 8 because I want to talk 8's so that tells me how many how many 8's there is 0.36 of an inch is it's 3 8's 3 divided by 8 0.37 okay close enough so now we're 9 and 3 8's center to center of a double 45 offset now now you need to figure out now you need to figure out what your takeoff is for 45 and this is how you do that I'm just going to do the eyeball method here trying to get you some decent light I don't know about is that helping at all with the lighting yeah, situation it is a little bit well, not when it's behind it. Okay. So, unfortunately, these Charlotte 45s don't have a center mark. A lot of them do. Um, these don't. So, I got an eyeball center line here. Here's center. So, I'm eyeballing center. Okay. And then, eyeball center up. Here is center line of this fitting. You see that mark? Can you see that mark? Center line of this fitting, where the two center lines intersect, is right there. See, that's why there's no videos out there like this. In the construction of a real construction environment like this, it's Lighting's always difficult, noise is always always difficult. Okay, so there's the that little mark right there is the center line intersection of this fitting. Now I'm gonna measure my takeoff. I need to know my takeoff. So I'm gonna hold it from the center line to my end of pipe, which is right there. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half. Okay. So one and a half inches is my takeoff on a 45. I have two 45s. I got one here and one here. So I'm nine and three eighths minus three inches. That's my two takeoffs, my two one and a half inch takeoffs. So math got me to six and three eighths. Eyeballing it got us to six and a half. Pipe guide got us to six and a half. Math got us to six and three eighths. So all three worked, right? Yeah. All three worked. This took incredibly long time. Um, in real life, it doesn't take that long because you would just grab your phone, pull out your construction calculator, and go and go six and five eighths times one point four one four. Um, you would already know your takeoffs. I already knew that was inch and a half. I'm like my, minus three inches, but more. it would have took me more like two minutes. Two minutes, you know. So here's that. And let's cut. It. Let's cut it. So let's go, let's go with math. We'll go six and three eighths right there. Oh 
you want to know why uh, real life, why real life got got us to uh, six and a half? Why should I ball? Because we're not exactly on that plane. We are rolling just slightly, just slightly rolling to this side of the stud. Just slightly. So six and a half probably would be better. Okay, let's see what, what our cut ended up being. Our cut ended up being just just a little more than three eighths and a little bit less, like six and seven sixteenths. So perfect though. Target, look up there. Okay. So look where Matt put us. Pretty much right where we need to be at, huh? Once we level that out, boom, perfect. Any more, if we would have went any more like six and a half, it would have been longer pushing us, pushing us against that stud, which would be pushing that riser out just a little bit. So, I say math one. Look at that. Math is perfect. perfect. Crazy, huh? Okay. Let's get, let's throw a riser on there. Keep, keep it going. Thank you. 